Hello. Okay. It's recording. So, um, today one of the question was is talking about evil eye and black magic. Okay. As to what are the combination? Because I asked on my YouTube post, hey, what do you want me to talk about today? So someone said talk about black magic and the evil eye and all this. So very simple. I'm going to keep it short and simple. First of all, what are the most, most vulnerable combination of this tantric science of black magic? And I'm sure if it's a scientist watching it, there must be laughing, right? Like, holy smokes, what is happening with social media? But those who have experienced it, those who know it, well, that's a whole different, that, that's like, now we're going into the red pill zone. This is a red pill. Instead of the blue pill, this is red pill. Because once you see it, once you experience it, okay, the rabbit hole goes much deeper than even the matrix. So first of all, black magic is simply a science. There's nothing like comical about it. There's nothing, you know, sci-fi about it. It's a science. It's actually alchemy. That's all it is. Black magic is alchemy. You're taking an energy, okay? You're taking energy. You're transforming it into something. And you're sending it to someone else. That's it. That's all it is. So those who are scientists have studied the theory of, theory of relativity. And they have studied everything about, uh, you know, even something as amazing as quantum physics, you'll know that black, one day black magic is going to be like downloading an app. That's it. So first of all, what are the combinations? The most vulnerable combinations for having some evil eye, black magic, magic done on you, or even like, you know, like they say, buri uh, nazar bad eyesight on you, meaning like, oh my God, how is it that this person getting this job? Oh my God, they should be getting it. My son should be getting this job. And then, so they're sending this bad eyesight to you. Number one combination is moon Rahu combination. That's how simple it is, A, B, C, D. Moon Rahu combination. Either moon is trying from Rahu with Rahu, or moon is 12th from Rahu. These are the most vulnerable combinations for black magic. Second would be Mercury, moon, and Ketu. The other would be Mercury, Rahu, moon. Because number one thing, most of the time you won't see anything which is like out of the ordinary. Like, it's not like you're working and suddenly, you know, this pen starts flying like, ooh. And then suddenly it comes to you and you're like, oh my God, uh, why am I turning this pen on? Oh my God, why am I going towards my will and signing my will away to my enemy? It's not, it's not going to be like that. Because black magic is supposed to affect your mind, to make you do the wrong decisions. Whether you starting to invest in wrong places so you lose money, okay? Or it's you wanting to suddenly quit your job, which is paying you $2 million a year with your base salaries and stock options and bonuses. Or it's you even marrying your child to the completely wrong person. Or sometimes you will see a lover who was rejected by you does black magic on you because you rejected them and now you can't have anybody unless you go back to them. Now, in the modern society, okay, you may not have to worry about it so much in the USA unless you live in uh, New Orleans. But mainly, if you're living in India, South America, Mexico, 
um, even Central Africa, one of the best solution is to leave, right? Because these countries are the epicenter of this science, which is supposed to be white magic used as black magic because there's people with the screwed up mind. This is why you see people killing each other, stabbing each other, okay? It's funny, I was watching a documentary today on uh, this family in Connecticut, this Indian family where the guy mur committed murder-suicide of his wife and daughter. I mean, because of course everybody wants to live an affluent life and they want to show it, but they don't have anything to back up with it. They don't have any money about it. But anyway, I'm digressing. So when it comes to magic, okay, these are simply scientific rituals of our ancient days that takes the energy of the universe and sends it to someone. So I always will tell you this, number one. When you do have Rahu and Moon combination, don't ever advertise your chart to people or the world. Don't ever show to people, oh yeah, I've got Rahu Moon conjunction and you know, this is why I feel suddenly so high and suddenly so low. Like you watch a movie in theater and you're like, oh my God, I want to love like this movie. Or you go to a theater and then there's a tragic ending and you're like, that's it. Life is horrible. Life is, life sucks. This is like that moon Rahu condition. Okay. So one of the thing is with moon Rahu, especially you should go to an astrologer who's trustworthy, who you know is not like, again, your intuition will tell you if to go to this person or not and show them your chart. Because if that person's a tantric, if that person has bad intentions, they can do something. Or, you, you know, when we do horoscope matching, which is the most BS the most ridiculous thing you can do in astrology is matchmaking. Oh, we did matchmaking. And now we have the best bahu and the best husband. And they're like the most ignorant, dumb people in the society and world who follow matchmaking to make the marriage work. Because let me tell you, whoever your son, daughter, or you are destined to be with. They're gonna be with that. You're just playing this, this this stage game due to your chart that, oh, I'm gonna take my daughter's chart to this astrologer and this guy's chart. And is it a match? Oh, it's a match. And okay, let's get married. Go get married. And it's a great life or it's a disaster life. Because based on whoever's doing the matching, we'll do it, but I'm sorry. Astrologer has zero, zero say in matchmaking. Remember, uh, uh, who's that? Mark Baum in um, Big Short. Remember when he says, what's the probability of the subprime mortgages to go up? And he says, or, or subprime mortgages, you know, uh, to be saved at the level they are. And he says zero, zero chance that the rates will stay at what they are. So I'm saying it today, zero probability, zero effect on you doing matchmaking for marriage. Nothing, it's a waste of time. You're simply producing it to the occult economy when you do matchmaking. Because you're getting exactly what the chart is saying. And it's literally a 15 second thing to look at a chart, especially when you study Nandi Nadi. You can study from anywhere, including me, that is on my academy, Magha Vedic Astrology Academy. 
you will know. People know now in five seconds if the marriage is going to work or not. That's it. No need to go into Navamsha. No need to go into Ashtakvar. No need to go into divisional charts. So again, I'm digressing. So these are, so the number one thing is when you have this vulnerability, keep your chart guarded. Now, when you have Moon Rahu, and if somebody is an expert who wants to harm you, they can literally look at your face and find out if you have Moon Rahu conjunction. Okay. I haven't done face studies, but I know the ways of how magic can be done. You don't need to even display your chart. Somebody can take your picture and some tantric in some shamshan ghat, meaning a cemeterial ground, look at the picture. Oh, yes, I can do magic on this. You know, it's like when you take your phone to a phone fixer and they'll be like, yeah, I can fix this. Or sometimes they'll say, no, I can fix this. this is, you're going to have to trash this or send it back to the company. Do you know why they look for pictures? Because they can see on your face, okay, especially with Rahu and Moon, left side of the face and the left eye, they can see that, oh yeah, this person has Moon Rahu, they're vulnerable to my magic, and they'll do it. That's actually the main reason why they actually look at the picture. Okay, now... When it comes to protection, of course, there's so many protections out there. Literally, there's eight forms of Shiva, eight forms of Lakshmi, nine forms of Durga. There's almost like 34 forms of Kali, although five of them are the most important to worship for black magic. One of the most universal remedies for black magic or magic is worshiping of Bhattak Bhairav. Right? Bhairava. Okay. But the thing is, when... See, for me, if you ask me, when people come to me, what should I do for black magic? I don't know. I'm living in the United States. USA, where I'm, I have barely ever dealt with anything connected with somebody doing magic on this person, black magic and this person and hex on this person, voodoo on that person. I don't. When you're in that particular environment, like especially let's say that Mexico is even, I would say Mexico is number one when it comes to black magic, voodoo. India, Middle East, Bangladesh, they would be one, and in South America, we want Mexico. If you see some of these documentaries and videos on black magic and uh, some of these paranormal things in Mexico, yeah, you'll need a diaper. You'll need a diaper. So for me, the one of the best things that I can advise, and yes, it's, for me, it costed me uh, huge amounts of money. Okay, it is this. Three metal bracelet of copper, silver, and gold. One ounce each twisted together. This is known as three metal bracelet of Yogananda, which was advised by Sri Yukteswar for all types of protection. So whenever somebody does any magic on anybody, what are they doing? They're taking energy. They're making it into a ball. And through this narrow gap of time and space, they send that energy ball to that particular individual with the address and the name and everything, or simply just by even the nail or the hair or the clothes, They'll the, the energy will know where to go and it goes. So what this does when that energy hits, okay, it's kind of like, I don't know if you have guys seen the movie Independence Day from 1996, one of my favorite alien movies. Like when they were hitting missiles at the alien air spacecraft, we went like, do, 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 right? So it just hits. The negative side of things just hits here and then retracts back. That's what happens. Okay? So this is that's the only thing. So if you ask me, 
When somebody comes to me, what should I do if I have black money? I'm like, go to somebody who's known about this. Go to somebody who is well-versed in this. Okay? Like if somebody comes to you, you know, there's especially Prashna techniques to see. Who's going to, who, if you have black magic or not. One of the techniques I can say is use of Upgraha. Meaning one of the invisible planets known as Dhuma. D-H-O-O-M-A, Dhuma. In Prashna, if it comes with a certain planet, certain thing, yes, there will be. There's techniques of Jamakul Prashna. I don't know if you guys have heard it. I've studied it, but I don't use it because it's just, it's, for my brain, it's too complicated. So I don't even get into these things like, okay, let me help you solve this issue and how did this happen and how did this black magic happen? Maybe some, because of the plenary alignments, you know, you can see who and what did it. Was it a male, female? Was it an old person, young person? Was it a, a, a relative or a spouse? You can see all of that. I know the methods of it. Have I ever tried it? No, because I'm not in an environment and a country where these things are prevalent every day, where these things are happening every day. It's not. If let's say I was living in India and I did have many people who came to me, do you think I have black magic? Is it black magic happening? Oh yeah, I'm, I'll be taking all kinds of courses on understanding black magic and understanding what how to solve those things. Okay, because depending upon who is doing the black magic, because you can figure that out by looking at the birth chart, Navamsha chart, and Drikna, D3 chart. Who's doing the black magic, how it occurred, in what time it may have even occurred. Was it morning, evening, based on the sign, based on the Prashna timing? You can see all this, but again, Am I well versed in doing? No. And do I want to? No. That's not my interest of study. You know, it's like astrology is like making a website. Maybe you just like making websites for entertainment sector. You don't want to make websites for accounting sector. You don't want to make websites for, uh, you know, food related restaurants because you just, you're not into it. It's like your your main thing is like, Somebody wants to stream their movie. Okay, I'll, I know how to program this whole thing. That's all, that's all it is. So it's like, there are astrologers out there who know everything. From A to Z, they have spent many, many years studying these crafts. For me, and I have to be honest, like, no, I don't have that solution. The only thing that I know is this three metal bracelet or especially worshiping of Bhattuk Bhera. But it literally, depending upon how severe you can even see how severe the black magic is. Is it, or some bad eye, evil eye. You can see all this. And then the reason why I said, see, black magic, when it's done through Mercury combination of Mercury, Moon and Ketu, it's more subtle. Meaning, you don't see anything. Nothing is happening, but yet you lost your job. You're getting a divorce. Uh, your child doesn't like you anymore. Your siblings have turned against you. It's like, whoa, 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 hold on. Why all of a sudden, when everything was fine last month and suddenly everything has shattered? Why? I'm sure it's going to show in the horoscope. But that's more of a subtle thing that you just can't really explain. Is it black magic? Is it my sarisati or suddenly some transit came in? Or maybe you don't even care about astrology or just like, why is my life all chaos? But then the moon Rahu, moon Rahu magic, you can feel it. Why? Because let's say you're sitting here, you'll suddenly see, have you seen that movie Grudge? Where that lady with the long hair is climbing the ceiling and coming up to you, while somebody who's standing next to you doesn't see nothing. Or like for that movie, actually the best example of black magic is that movie, The Following. 
That is actually a very, very scary movie. I might watch it tonight with a cigar. Like nobody else sees that this thing is coming after me and it's just walking. It's not running. No matter how far you go, it'll always walk towards you. You see it. So people think you're crazy. Why? Because Rahu is kind of like part of that Duma, smoke and mirrors. It's part of that smoke and mirrors. So that means you see something, nobody else sees it. And people are going to think like you're just going, I think you're going to need to go to a psychiatrist or some asylum. But it's happening. It is real, but it's real for you. Okay, so in those particular cases of like, especially when, you know, where the vulnerability of seeing things are there. Yeah, you need to be going to an expert, not just an astrologer, astrologer who can take you to somebody who knows something. Okay, so that's why I don't want to dilute myself that, oh, I know everything. Here, take this advice. No, you shouldn't. Unless I can prove it with at least 20 clients at minimum or 15 clients. Look, these people came to me and I told them to do this and they did this and now they're safe. No, I don't know nothing about it. The only thing that I've heard from especially other teachers about the protection is this. Okay, it's this. Which is the three metal bracelet. Then there's other, other things too for evil eye, especially evil eye thing, which I've done. I cannot discuss because it was told to me not to reveal it and I had to do it because of the stalking issues I dealt with. In the last, literally from 2000, literally from 2015, I have dealt with some severe stocking issues and so i had to take some provisions why do you think i don't really care to making my video all flashy so it gets all the views and all the things i don't i i i'm, I'm, I'm... once you have dealt with the obsession of certain people you want to you, you really do want to stay away from those things I'm not saying you, me, like as an individual experience it. After that, you're like, I'd rather get the least amount of views, the least amount of likes and all that. I'm good. I'm good with what I have. You know, so whatever I've taken, it may not work for you, but it was for me for private. And yes, it helped. Absolutely. Okay. So anyway, this was my, pretty much my solution for and the combination and all of that for, you know, people who are vulnerable to magic and black magic and evil eye and all of these things. And, you know, if you really are dealing with something severe as this, please see the advice of an expert. You know, it's like you're wanting to go to a surgeon, but you're coming to a doctor who's only dealing, let's say you want to go to a heart surgeon, but you're coming to a doctor who's doing like knee surgeries. They, they don't know what the hell's going on with the heart. Right. So that's how it is. So I have to say that I'm sorry. You have to go to a heart surgeon who really knows what the hell's going. That's the honesty that I'm giving. OK, so this was the question that I was asked. And let me see. This was asked. Because I know I'm going to delete the post. This was asked on my YouTube uh, thing, and it was asked by. Vanille. Laboris Benet 3834 How to protect ourselves from evil eye, black magic, or any negative based on our astrological chart. Okay, so yeah. And of course, one of the best ways, especially when it comes to I don't even know, I don't know about magic or all that, but at least your life and sustenance and wealth is the wristwatch right? Wristwatch, video that I made eight years ago. So for that, you can check out the links in description, karisastrology.com or go to karisastrology.thinkific.com 
where you once you learn about wristwatches and the right watch to wear for your own prosperity, even perhaps protection too, but can't really say that, but it's for your prosperity. Go there. And of course, on my Nandinari course, I uploaded the video on activation of planetary ages. Okay, planetary ages. And which age positive event or challenging events can occur? Literally, it is... It's there. It's not like, oh, maybe it might, maybe it not. No, it will. Severity of it might be 20%, 30%, 50% or more, but it will be there. 